Hey guys, so tonight I got something pretty cool. I've been looking forward to this for quite a while now, and it just arrived in the mail today. Um, this is the newest LCD modification kit. Um, Game Boy Color Backlight, basically. And this is from some company in China. I don't know all the details. All I know is, despite what many people are saying, this is not a Freckle Shack clone. This is a completely ind independently developed piece of hardware, uh, much like the McWill mod or the Midwest Embedded mod. So we have four unique Game Boy Color backlights, all happen to use the exact same LCD. They're not clones of each other, they're all different. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, uh, I picked this up, I don't know, on AliExpress a couple weeks back. Of course, they put on the package that it was only 10 USD, but they actually charged me about 50, and hopefully it is all right. The box has seen some better days here, um, but since it is styrofoam and usually pretty well insulated, we should be good to go. I hope so. But you can get this on Taobao for, I think, about 36 US dollars before shipping. Uh, oh yeah, I think we're going to be fine. Um, but I chose to buy it on AliExpress because Taobao usually doesn't ship to the US. Oops, sorry. Hitting my camera mount with my face there. Um... I just decided, yeah, it's probably going to be quicker and easier if I order on AliExpress. So, I did. And this is what you get here. This PCB, which is significantly smaller than uh, Freckle Shack here. This, this kit aims to do the one thing that Freckle Shack was originally going to do. In that this is supposed to be a pure ba uh, drop-in backlight kit zero modification required to your Game Boy unit. And uh, the nice thing about that is, you know, let's say you have one of those limited edition like Pokemon Center consoles or something like that, you know. You don't necessarily want to modify it, but you want to be able to use it without the garbage reflective screen that it comes with. Uh, well, this is your ticket here. So one of the nice things I'm noticing already is that the LCD already has some capped on tape uh, to, to insulate it. And another cool thing about this kit in particular is that it comes with this little touch sensor, which appears to be just some uh, copper tape uh, with a wire soldered to it. Uh, but this is for brightness control. The idea is that you stick this onto the IR window and you touch the IR window and you can change the brightness. Now, this isn't the Game Boy that I wanted to set this up in. This thing is beat to hell. This has seen way better days. But my most recent order has not arrived yet. And uh, well, since it's a drop-in kit, I think I can make that compromise here. Uh, sorry, I'm not as not that prepared, but whatever. It's only nine screws. I think you guys can suffer through it. So for those that still don't believe me regarding the fact that this kit isn't a clone, uh, there is an actual honest-to-god Freckle Shack clone using Ben Ben's original design, uh, using Gerber's leaked from the factory. Uh, he's still trying to work out with the factory he used to make Freckle Shack, you know, trying to figure out what the heck happened and what they're going to do about it. But uh, if you've seen some close-ups of Ben Ben's Freckle Shack PCB, or if you've ever read any of the documentation on it, you'd know that he uses a Lattice CPLD, or FPG. I'm sorry, I, I, to be honest, I get the two confused all the time. Um, but anyway, he's using Lattice hardware as opposed to, like, Zilinx or whatever. This kit, you can see right here, it's using high vision brand unit there and each whatever the hell that is each 
company has their own um, machine code or, or Verilog as they call it. So maybe, you know, at most Freckle Shack was reverse engineered just so they could see how to power this LCD. But as far as like actual clone, this is not a clone anymore than the McWill mod is a clone or the Midwest Embedded mod is a clone of Freckle Shack. Nothing. They're all they're all separate kits. So sorry, now that I'm done ranting. Let's get this set up here. So oop. All right, this one has that broken clip. So normally that doesn't come out. That's not supposed to come out. It does on this one though. So we'll. I forgot that. It's one of the things I had to be careful with about this console. Okay. So. Bear with me. Okay. So I'm just going to get that in there now because I want to do the same test I've been doing. You know, just, just so we have some data. Even if I never do anything with the data, I'd rather have the data and not need it than vice versa. So we can see, bring that into frame a little bit more. Just boot this up. It idles on the uh, menu screen, I guess. About 57, 58, 52, whatever. It bounces around quite a bit. We'll call it about 56 milliamps. And if I take the same cart I've been using to uh, test these consoles, my Pokemon Crystal cart, boot that up. And at the main menu there on the stock LCD, it's about 70 to 75. We'll call it about 73 milliamps. Okay. Plug that. Shut that off before I blow something up accidentally. Okay. Try and get this out here. And again, this isn't supposed to come out, but on occasion they do break. Okay. So, this is going to end up going in here like that. Uh, I have already printed out some spacers here. This is the exact same idea as Freckle Shack. Um, I've already taken some measurements and it's about, if I recall correctly, about three and a half millimeters and about six millimeters. And then, yeah, that should fold up like that. I'll get this up here. There we go. That'll insert there. Fold across there. And then try and get this in here without making a total fool of myself. not happen. I just made my clip even worse. Okay. So if your Game Boy Color isn't all sorts of fucked up, you probably don't have to do this. But since mine is... Wait, shoot, do I have that backwards? Yeah. Should be contacts up. Yeah. Gold contacts up. What's interesting about this kit is they opted for a custom ribbon cable instead of 
just the generic one that Freckle Shack uses. Probably could have sh saved a wee bit. There we go. Now that's in there. Okay. Holy crap, that is stiff. Okay. So we'll try this again here. Oh, that's upside down. The mod LCD. Ribbon cable should be contacts down, not up. Flip that up again. Ooh, I hate that. I hate how much force that requires to bend. Alright, I hope that is satisfactory. screws in here. So I'm thinking I don't necessarily like the idea of blocking off the IR window, just have a touch sensor. So I'm going to do something about that. Not today, because this isn't the final destination for this mod. But I will be doing something about that eventually. I guess let's test it out, huh? And just for posterity, this is a Revision 03 motherboard. Turn the power supply on. Hey, it works first try. Uh, so what we were like 55 now we're at about 106 on the default brightness 107 108 All right, I'm gonna turn that off pop in crystal here before I even try adjusting the brightness And on the main menu there got 125, 124, I saw it goes low as 121 and all the way up to 127, so I don't know, let's call it 124, sure, and we can, oh is that not going to work for me? I don't know. It's not adjusting. Oh, it did there? What the heck happened? So it probably has to be stuck down before it'll work. Oh, there we go. You just have to barely come in contact with it. When my finger gets near, it starts going off automatically. That's pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, that's it. I mean, if you want to set this up the way it's designed, you just peel off the adhesive backing, stick that on there, stick that in there, and button it up together. That's it, man. Easy peasy. Uh, one thing I would recommend, get yourself a custom lens here, uh, because the sides are very visible there. There we go. You can see... On the edge, there's some backlight bleeding on this particular LCD. One thing I am noticing, the viewing window itself is a little bit lower. This is the McWill mod, just for example. Um, you can see it's almost right up against the top, whereas this one's not. Let's, I'm going to swap this out real quick. We're going to try out... 
my uh, custom cart here. This just has Pokemon Prism on it. Oh, the D-pad on this thing sucks. Maybe because it's not screwed together. So, the reason I'm testing... Let me turn that down. The reason I'm testing this in particular is because... Uh, yeah, there it is. So, the McWill mod... Uh, you can tell when you're running around in Pokemon Prism, and I mean like literally running, you could see there's a little bit of screen tearing. I don't know how, how well you can see that on this thing. Let's see if we can turn the brightness up a little. Oh, that's as high as it goes. It doesn't help that it's night right now, but um, there's some screen tearing in the McWill mod, and this... There's no screen tearing, but it looks like it is dropping a frame. So what happens is the Game Boy Color itself runs at, I don't know, like 59.7 hertz. And this screen runs at 60 FPS. Now you can downclock it slightly, which is what Ben Ben does in his Freckle Shack mod. But... I believe, I was, I was reading Ben Ben's analysis of uh, the hardware that this kit uses, and he said it's using like a photo frame IC, which, to be honest, I don't really know what that entails, but he did mention that they, they're, they're kind of hard-coded as far as how they work goes, so you can use it for this application, but it's going to be limited to 60 FPS, you can't you know, modulate that frequency any at all. So it looks like what it's doing is every few milliseconds it's just dropping a frame entirely. And so, I don't know how well you can see this on the footage, especially because the screen is so dark in the camera, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I don't really know how to fix that here. The screen just doesn't get that bright. But, um... I'll, I'll try and take some slow-mo footage and better lighting and we can go from there. If you want a bright screen, this is definitely not what you want. Uh, but other than dropping a frame, you know, it, it does look pretty decent. Um, it's probably not something that's very noticeable, to be honest. I think this is Pokemon Pinball. I know Freckle Shack had some issues with that. That or Little Mermaid pinball. Oh, I think it's Little Mermaid. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's not what I thought it was. But, um, I don't know. I, I still think it's a pretty decent kit. Especially with how stupid easy it is to install. This is, like I said, it's not going to live in this Game Boy Color, which is why I haven't bothered finishing putting it back together. But it is going to go in one of my limited edition Game Boy Colors, and you know what? For the 50 some odd bucks that this kit costs, so far, I think it's still worth it. Uh, I am going to go ahead and finish putting this back together, uh, just so I can try it out for a few days, play some games on it, that, so I don't have to be wired to this thing. Put the start select buttons back in there, and uh, I don't know, I guess I'll let you guys know. If you have any comments, feel free to hit me up, or questions rather. Or comments, whatever. I'm not picky. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this mod. Um, one more thing before I go. This is... I've heard a lot of people referring to this as the China Shack mod. You know, as, as a nod to Freckle Shack. I don't really like that name. Um, I was thinking Fakel Shack is pretty cool too. Uh, I, I, I like that a little bit better, but I'm thinking that should be... Re, re, um, reserved for the actual Freckle Shack clone and not this new product. So, I don't know. I'm also looking for names to call this thing. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Though, at this point, it might be a little bit too late. I think China Shack might be catching on. Um, but, I don't know. I guess uh, let me know and uh, we'll go from there. I think it's interesting. I haven't even been touching this and I just got a call.
God, that call feature was so annoying. I wish they never in implemented it. Anyway, I'm being distracted. Have a good night, guys.